Now I'd love to hear your journey from being a teacher to your interest in Socratic education in particular. Um, was it like year one, year two? I don't know, I, you were taught for like four or five years. So give us mm -hmm. a trajectory. Well, so when I was at the Language Institute and, and started reading about education, especially John Taylor Gatto, I realized that if I wanted to understand what went wrong and I was beginning to put some of the puzzle pieces together in my own educational experience, I needed to try out uh, reading more important things and reading po uh, just expanding what I could teach other than, you know, just conversation and grammar in English. I uh, went to this school that I knew had a vacant vacancy for a high school teacher and uh, they were known for being very different from the other schools and not following the national educational program and they didn't know they didn't have a set high school curriculum yet so they had just kind of opened up a high school the director was very experimental uh, and was you know known for taking risks. So I said, okay, that's perfect. I can just talk my, my way into that, that vacancy. And I scheduled a meeting with her that she reluctantly took. And uh, it was a <laughs> long, long conversation because I was too young for her. I didn't have any university degree. I didn't have any experience teaching high school. I had some experience teaching ESL. And it was basically through the through the same things we were reading, and I kind of um, suggested that she take me on as a as a mentee. That I was sort of a very eager blank slate in learning how to teach, and uh, it was and that I would also I uh, I said I'm happy to be paid uh, part time and work full time, and it'll be even cheaper for you. Um, so after that, she said yes. And in the course of doing that, of reading with her and reading by myself these different books, um, I just began to record what I was learning and what I was trying out in my classroom on a blog and began cold emailing every single living being that I read that was still alive of the books I read and of the people that interested me. Uh, that's actually how I found you, Michael, how I found the person that suggested I go to St. John. So it was just continue reading, trying out things in the classroom, learning from her, learning online, and just for no particular reason or no clear goal in mind, just emailing as many people and have trying to start up conversations with as many people as, as, as you know, responded.